Sarah Hollenbeck, who's been speaking with passengers on the boat and the officers who were first to rush in trying to save people. Sarah, many of them, I can imagine, still in shock. Yeah, one man didn't even know how to swim. He was clinging to the side of the boat, just hoping he would be able to jump off and have the courage to be OK. Terrifying video shows just how scary it was for not only people who are watching from the shore, but also people trying to jump from that boat. The inferno on board, making them leap into the frigid water below. 50 people without any life jackets jumped into the water and quickly sank into feet of mud. Officers dashed in to help as people in shock struggled to swim to shore. First responders tell us if it hadn't been for the captain pulling the boat so close to the shore, more people wouldn't have made it out alive. Katie Colbreth says it was the scariest moment of his life, clinging to the hull of that boat, trying to muster up the courage to jump. I felt like, OK, you got two choices. You can stay on this boat or you can burn. Or right. either you can, you know what I mean, or, or you can or you take a jump. chance, you know what I mean? You got, so I had to pretty much walk on favor, take a chance. And as I was dangling, I was just like pretty much like somewhat crying out, well, telling the people like, look, man, look, I can't swim. Like, so, you know, is somebody down there going to be able to save me? Just so scary for everyone there on board. We've also learned that six of the people that were on board hired the same lawyer. As for the investigation, the NTSB and the Coast Guard now looking into the ship, interviewing everyone who was on board and checking on the condition of the boat before it went out. Reporting live in Port Richie, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah, thank you. We have much more on this deadly fire and the company's past. Just head to abcactionnews.com or our free mobile app for the very latest information.